previously on Honest Outlaw. Wow. That'll work. What's up guys, this is Chris here, and today we are gonna have a good time. Today we're gonna be going over the fastest thousand round review we've ever done. Today we're gonna be going over this beautiful guy here, the Nighthawk Sandhawk. This is Nighthawk's most elite pistol in my personal opinion. And as you can see here, we've got X300 and Trijicon RMR. They have a very unique optics mounting system, which we'll get into here in a second. They have an included comp with a four and a half inch barrel to make this the slickest possible. That is my favorite setup ever. Flat face trigger on it. We have a single sided safety that's very amazing. Combat hammer and then their uh, metal double stack uh, grip here, which has a lot of texture and feels really good. Now it is a double stack 1911 pistol that comes with two magazines and these are Nighthawks magazines. However, we did run the review with Staccato mags and Atlas Gunworks mags and we saw no difference in reliability or performance. So you can run these and you can buy whatever other magazines you want and it's not magazine picky in at least my version wasn't. These were 17 round mags, but we ran the bigger and even bigger sticks and they ran just fine. So capacity is not going to be an issue on this old girl. Neither feature set, you're going to have all hand fit parts. It isn't a gun that you can just buy. You actually have to order these and they're made by one single gunsmith. And from what I hear, at least in the comment section, uh, they advertise eight months or so, but it's about two years to wait for one of these for some people. So you really gotta want the thing. <laughs> now, before we continue, I do wanna mention how I got this gun. We actually have partnered again with GetterToWin.com to give you this guy. We pick out the giveaway guns for the month and I always try to give you the best possible gun. And I think this time I really outdid myself. I think this might be the best giveaway gun we've ever had on the channel. I couldn't stop thinking about this gun. Again, this is our quickest thousand round review. I shot all 1000 of these rounds for this review in a single week. If you wanna get it now, all you have to do is click the link in the description below, pick up a collectible and you are automatically entered to win this Nighthawk Sandhawk. Today is the last day for the giveaway and you gotta get in now before or midnight or you're out of luck. Getting into the optics mounting system here, which does come with the gun, that is super nice because a lot of these very expensive guns that you buy, even from a custom shop, if you don't request an optics mount, they won't come with it. And with this one, we got it right out of the box and that's a very cool RMR pattern. And on top of that, it actually has the uh, rear sight up front and the optic is pushed so far back, you'll never have to worry about getting a round lodged in that uh, optic. And I think that's really forward thinking. The features are cool, but the fitment is really what I wanna focus on here because honestly, I've only had one or two true custom guns. And when you're talking about custom guns, you're talking about SVI, you're talking about a Kai Custom, you're talking about Nighthawk. Even my beloved Atlas, which don't get me wrong, is my favorite gun, is a semi-custom gun. And they are not made by one gunsmith for the entire gun, as well as I'm aware of. Whereas with this gun, you, it absolutely is. And you can tell the fit and finish is just unbelievably impressive and second to nothing we've ever had on the channel. So now let's get into the review portion with the reliability. How did the Sandhawk do? How did a $5,000 pistol actually perform in our testing. Well, we took it out and we shot a thousand rounds in a week and we used a variety of different magazines, not just the magazines that came with it, the Nighthawk stamped magazines that I think are made by Duramag, but we also used my other Duramags, but we primarily used my Atlas Gunworks Big Sticks and then also the Staccato 20 rounders. They worked absolutely excellent. We had no problems with them at all. Through the thousand rounds, we only had one malfunction and it actually happened on the Nighthawk magazines. And the reason why it happened is because I didn't lube the gun for seven 700 rounds. We shot zero through 700 rounds with a couple drops of lube, had no issues with the gun whatsoever, and I tried to push it all the way through the 1,000 round review instead of actually lubing at 500, which is what I normally do with my normal reviews. So I would argue that this is actually my fault, and a lot of people make excuses for their 1911s. That's kind of why forums exist. However, I did a veer from my normal uh, shooting protocol because I was having so much fun, I just kept dumping magazines, and as soon as we put more lube on it, it ran another 400 rounds with no issues. Now. I think that's pretty impressive because not only do we use four different types of magazines, but we also use several different types of ammunition from 115 to 124 to 147 grain to make sure all of them work in your slick whiz bang competition pistol and they did. We even used the cheapest ammunition that we had and I shot at 100 yards and it hit every one.
no lock back on the mags all hits doesn't get much more accurate than that. So that really says something about not only the reliability, but the accuracy of the pistol that you are able to achieve a six to eight inch group at over a hundred yards every single time from standing with cheap ammunition. So not only has it been reliable with every ammunition we've tried, every magazine that we've tried, as long as you keep her wet, <laughs> but that's a classic 2011 problem. That's a classic old person problem, no I'm kidding. <laughs> the accuracy of it, in my opinion, was second to none. When we were standing, we went as far Far back as my range goes and we still were not challenged with this handgun and the reason for that is because you have the single point of aim with the dot you have an unbelievably high quality barrel and set of controls and then you have this solid two and a half pound trigger to aid you in your trigger pull on top of that another thing that helps out is going to be the texture on the grip you can just hold on to the gun very comfortably and you're not going to wince under recoil because there is no recoil to anticipate and that is why a lot of new shooters shoot these guns so well is because you basically pay a huge amount of money to help you with your bad habits. Oh my God, you! this is the best thing that's ever existed. It really is. It's harder to have a shitty trigger pull when the trigger's two pounds, and that is one of the reasons why the 2011 is still king of the competition circuit, and it's becoming the new king of the tactical circuit. So if you were to use this for something like a home defense pistol, it would be, I mean absurd would be a good word. Uh, it's like a mini MP5. I mean you could dump out magazine after magazine as fast as you possibly can with very little recoil control and the damn thing's still gonna go where you want it to. Cheat code is a good word for this. If I hover the dot over the target, press the trigger, it'll go. Now, I should mention why it has so little recoil. So, it has the included single port comp, which certainly does help, but they cut the slide here at four and a half, so you have a five inch slide with only four and a half inches of travel. And not only do you get the comp, which pushes a lot of the uh, gases up, keeping the barrel down, but you also have a full metal dust cover there, and we've got an X300 on it because it gives you light, you can see in the dark, and it lowers the recoil as well. But my favorite part about this gun and a lot of other custom 2011s that I've got into is just how they've sprung the gun. A lot of times guns are sprung for very specific ammunition types and this one has ran all the ammunition types with very low recoil in a very very light slide and what that helps out with is when the gun fires the weight of the uh, dust cover light keeps the gun low, the comp pushes gas out keeps the gun low and then when the slide is cycling back the lighter spring doesn't hit you as hard when the gun hits the rear like this, so it doesn't want to pull your gun up, and then it doesn't hit as hard when it goes forward either, so it doesn't dip your gun down and then make you have to re-level your pistol. The gun stays flat the entire time, and it feels like you're shooting a sewing machine. It's really impressive. It's hard for me to get over the looks of the uh, Nighthawk Sandhawk because they don't come across a lot of FDE 2011s. Honestly, I think you should see more of them because you see a lot of ARs in FDE, like the Sig Spear and all that stuff and they really came out with this and you actually have three different tones of brown there which normally I don't like but on this one it looks really impressive you've got more of a flat dark earth on top then you've got a little bit of a burnt bronze at the bottom there or whatever you want to call that and then you have this sort of goldish grip which really stands out among my gun collection and every time I walk into the room I can see this sitting on the wall and it just makes me all warm and fuzzy inside so overall a lot of the Sandhawk is going to be personal preference do you like the 1911 grip angle and controls. Do you like recoil? Because if you don't, you'll be in for this to <laughs> Sandhawk. Do you like the color? Do you like the ability to hit at 100 yards? And the reality is you're going to have to decide whether that's right for you because the price is extreme and it is very difficult to get. You're going to have to pay that five grand. You're going to have to wait that two years or you can enter in the giveaway below, click the link in the description, get a collectible mug, and this bad boy could be yours. Now, I think it's great for me, but it certainly isn't right for everybody. If you're just coming out of college, you're a broke college student and you wanna buy your first gun, I don't think this is for you. But if you're more of an expert and want more of an expert's pistol, or if you just wanna go out and show off in front of your friends, it's hard to beat the Nighthawk Sandhawk. Now, how does it compare to more high-end guns? Well, stay tuned because we plan on making that video in the next couple of weeks. I might even compare it to an MP5 and see if I can beat that in speed. We'll see. Let me know in the comments section below if you want to see that. Please like and subscribe. Please support your homeless shelters and remember to recycle. I'll check you later. That was perfect. <laughs>